Hey folks, Dr. Sean Baker here. Let's talk about how potatoes are trying to kill you or eight ways that potatoes may potentially be damaging your health. You know, and I guess you throw a potato real hard on somebody's head, you might be able to hurt them. But potatoes historically have been very poisonous. Let's talk about the, the original discovery of potatoes that occurred, we believe, in the Andes Mountains in Peru around 8,000 years ago. Theoretically, because certain grasses and grains wouldn't grow at high elevations, people couldn't utilize that, but they found potatoes. Now, unfortunately, the locals found that these potatoes were extremely poisonous and toxic, and so in an attempt to salvage them, farmers first began soaking those potatoes in a mixture of clay and water. I don't know how they figured that out, but it rendered them less toxic, and then they were able to breed them over time so they contain less toxicity in there, so they wouldn't be outright completely deadly, but they still have some of those leftover toxins there. Potatoes are often high in oxalates. Oxalates in high enough levels can certainly be, become problematic. It leads to things like crystalline depositions in the different joints and different tissues in the body. It can lead to most famously uh, kidney stones or what's something that uh, about 80% of all kidney stones are made out of calcium oxalate. So for certain individuals that are sensitive to oxalates, potatoes may not be a good idea. Potatoes also have something called lectins. Lectins are natural pesticides. They are meant to kill or injure any living creature that eats the potato. Now once swallowed, these lectins can block nutrient absorption, it can cause digestive distress and damage, and underlying inflammation over time. This damage leads to increasing permeability in the gut or pathological permeability. When there are these extra holes in the intestine, other problems begin to start happening. It can lead to certain autoimmune issues, IBS, histamine intolerance, joint pain, so on and so forth. Now, potatoes are nightshades. Nightshades have long been known to contain a substance called alkaloids. Alkaloids are part of the plant's defense mechanism, also designed to kill things that might be eating it. Studies have shown that of all the nightshades, uh, two of the most toxic forms, uh, alpha-solanine and alpha-chaconine, or chaconine, not sure, anyway, have been found in potatoes. These, in the body, these alkaloids uh, flow into the bloodstream, hold on to cholesterol that makes up the outer protective layer of your cells membranes and then it destroys them so the cell membranes become destroyed they can break out and leak a healthy person normally is able to clear these alkalides before they cause any significant damage however if you're suffering from an illness infection heavy metal overlead disease or a compromised immune system these alkaloids can get stuck and build up in the body the, the side effects of excess glycoalkaloids include vomiting intestinal pain, dry mouth, visual disturbances, and often diarrhea. Over time, oxidative stress caused by alkaloid buildup can leach nutrients from the body, lead to cardiovascular disease, thyroid dysfunction, liver disorders, kidney and bone, and autoimmune disorders. Now, potatoes get more toxic as they get above ground. Now, potatoes are normally grown underground. They're considered underground storage organisms for the plants to provide nutrients for the plants. When they get exposed to sun or artificial life, they realize that they're no longer in that, it's no, their normal place and they try to defend themselves. And so they start to become more infused with higher and higher amounts of these toxins. So they build up a high level of solanine, which can be very, very poisonous. Uh, if you've ever seen a green potato that has sprouts and maybe even moldless potato, it's been exposed to far too much light. Never eat one of these things. These things can actually kill, and they have killed people before. Uh, potatoes, high in carbohydrates. And so if you have diabetes or insulin resistance or uh, pre-diabetes or some sort of carbohydrate intolerance, intolerance Potatoes are not going to be your friend in that regard. It's going to cause you to have excessive fluctuation in your blood sugar. Uh, and we know that these excessive uh, fluctuations can be harmful, leading to glycation, tissue damage, eventually uh, blindness, cardiovascular disease, kidney disease, so on and so forth. If you're metabolically healthy, maybe you can you can handle these a little bit better, though. Potatoes have a lot of fiber in them. Now, a lot of people will talk about, extol about the virtues of fiber, but I've said that many times. Fiber is not essential, and in some cases, in fact, many cases, excess fiber can be very problematic for a lot of people. And so, potatoes are a great source of potassium, but some people, too much potassium can be a problem, and you potentially could get too much from eating too many potatoes. Uh, it can interfere with certain medications. It interferes with muscular and cardiovascular contractions of the heart. If you eat a lot of potatoes, particularly with unbalanced amounts of salt, you can end up with problems with that. Now, do I think all people on the planet should avoid potatoes and are ultimately out to kill everyone? Not at all. Some people can safely consume potatoes and do so for their whole life. There are many people, and, and this, is a, this is a recurrent theme, there are foods out there that we think are healthy 
and we, we just don't even question them, which actually are causing problems for this. And potatoes can be one of them. Same thing with certain fruits and vegetables and grains and all kinds of foods that are out there. So don't allow anyone to tell you that there's nothing wrong with any food and you can eat unlimited amounts of fruits and vegetables without any deleterious effect. That's clearly not the case. We're finding out more and more people every day have intolerance to these foods for these very reasons. So particularly if you are compromised in any way, shape or form, and many of us are. In fact, most of the population is now unhealthy. And so sometimes they don't tolerate these foods. All right, we'll talk to you on another video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let us know how we're doing here with the new editing team and the new style and format of the videos. Uh, look forward to getting more information out to you guys. Okay, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.